Hello YouTube, my name is Gauntlet and welcome back to my World at War game series. Day 35 has just started, I'm the most advanced nation in the world, I also have the most VPs, and my War of California is progressing well so far. I've pushed into Central America, I'm doing some plane dueling with California, patrol resetting over here, making sure that I get the best outcome out of all of these battles so that my economy can replace losses while California's cannot. My spies, which I had a lot, I had 22, were able to reveal all armies and also reveal some messages and his spies. He only has four spies compared to my 34. I also dealt considerable damage to his oil producing provinces, which should hopefully Weaken his ability to build these massive mechanized forces and also his planes. My patrolling aircraft were able to do good damage against that stack of planes. Now I'm going to send my tactical bombers to destroy these three planes while they're on the ground. I'm just going to try to do as much damage to his air force as I possibly can. Because Air Force and situational awareness is what is going to decide this war. Even though he has these awesome stacks, I can use my rockets and I can use my ground forces to counter them without much trouble, even though he has the speed advantage. That speed advantage is negated if I have air superiority and I know where his units are at all times, and I'm able to bomb his units. If they separate from their defensive stacks and if they hide in their forts then I'll use shoot and scoot or I'll use rockets both will work I am moving up more reinforcements my current plan is to take over southern Mexico Cuba then consolidate those positions build up my airbase network and start using my rockets to weaken him and my spies to weaken their economy and my planes to whittle away at their air force and army. And then I'll launch Operation Equator to deal the final blow on California. We're about one minute away from day 35 ending and things have rapidly changed with California. I have made a deal. He ceded all of this land to me in exchange for peace and for him to get second place. And the reason I did that is because I would rather get this win without defeating this player, although this might not be as fun for you, my viewers. I am kind of tired of this game. I've played a lot of hours into this, and I'd rather it be smooth sailing onto the solo win. So, well, peace soon, and I'm going to focus on taking over these AIs, the rest of Europe, and also more of Africa and also push into Asia. And if I have to, I'll invade Borneo and some of these other lands to get the necessary points. California also said he would give me some of these big cities, these 20 VP cities, if I need them. But he wants to stay in second place with these points. So I agreed. I'm pulling my units back, pulling back my air force, transferring things to Africa, transferring things to Europe. I will continue giving you guys updates in the daily series to make sure that nothing goes awry in the final weeks of me finishing up this map and getting the solo win. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you on the battlefield.